Hello everyone, Dibbo aka Bob here. I am here in another Minecraft PvP Hardcore Games to bring you guys another kit review. Today's kit review is over the Copycat Kit. This kit is brand new and it is amazing in my opinion. So, what this kit allows you to do is take the kit of the person that you killed. So the moment you kill somebody, you get their kits and uh, any starting items that go along with that kit uh, will also be given to your inventory. So let's say you killed an Endermage, you will receive the Endermage portal for the time that you have that kit just in case you guys are wondering. So no no worries, you will always have the items that you need, but uh, this kit is very, very awesome, and so uh, some kit, some people like kits because they're overpowered or they let you get wins easily, but I really like this kit because it doesn't just give you an advantage over players, but it also gives a whole new play style to the game of Hunger Games, or Hardcore Games. So um, <laughs> it's very cool, so when you kill somebody, you have to kind of strategize your kills because if you just kill somebody... Um, willy-nilly you might get a random kit that you don't necessarily want or that you're not good with it also tests your ability to know what all the kits are about so it's a great way to uh, teach yourself about random kits because uh, your kit changes multiple times throughout a game and you kinda gotta know your background on what that kits gonna do so I do like that aspect and um, another awesome aspect of this kit is that if you don't have um, if you don't have any, if you don't have pro and you don't have all the kits, uh, it's a very good way to test out some of the free kits before thinking about buying one. Uh, and some people like surprise because it gives you that option because you can just choose kits that you don't necessarily own and test them out and see what they they're like. But this kit, uh, this copycat kit, allows you to test uh, a lot of the popular kits because if you uh, if people are playing a lot as kangaroo and you're killing a lot of people, you're going to end up getting the kangaroo kit quite a few times and stuff like that that's just very useful in games and can be quite fun. So uh, it gives you uh, advantages like that. Another thing, when you, uh, in the death messages in chat, when you kill somebody, it'll say the kit that you're currently playing as, as you guys know. So uh, well, one of the cool things about copycat is when you kill somebody, let's say I had just killed an ender mage and then... Um, I went and killed another person, it would say that I was the Ender Mage kit. It lets you know the kit that you have items for. But uh, it does still give you the next kit. So let's say um, this cow was the vampire kit. And so the moment that I kill this cow, I would then get the vampire kit. But I still have the ability to go out and get other kits. So the next person I kill, I would also take their kit. So it's not just a one time deal. This. Uh, power up lasts throughout the rest of the game, the entire game, no matter what kit you're currently using. If you kill another copycat, you will still get the copycat um, option, or you'll still get, you still keep the copycat ability, and um, if you kill somebody like a chemist, I always like killing chemists because then you get a lot of their uh, potions from the beginning of the game, if they had any left over, which can just allow you to, you know, have some fun with killing people, and uh, it's just an awesome way to test out kits. Um, so not only do you get those abilities like that, but it also... Um, you have to kind of strategize the ways that you play, as I said earlier. So if you kill somebody who's like a stomper, then you got to make sure that the next kit, you kind of want to utilize the kit in the time that you have it. So the next person you want to kill, you might want to try and stomp them or something like that. Uh, let's see what kit this guy is. Uh, I want to see so I can show you guys how it works. Oh, I think he's a Kanga. Kanga's always fun. Unfortunately, it looks like he's going to be camping on the top of a tree, so he might not be the best person to go after. Um, but this kit is very awesome. I like it a lot. I certainly hope you guys would try it out and... Um, let me know what you guys think of it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if you're a fan, sir. I really want to just test my kit. No, please don't kill me. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible at PvP today. Well, this kit uh, allows you to test out your, your skittles against mad people. So as you can see, now I am the hermit kit. Unfortunately for me, this hermit kit isn't really going to give me too, uh, too many abilities I can show off. Because it really only works for the start of the game. But that's just how you got to play the kit. Um, so one of the things that you want to keep in mind when playing as this kit... If you're going to go out and attack somebody, you may want to figure out what their kit is that they have in case you want to see if you want to be able to use that kit during your fight. Um, because if it's a kit that you're not necessarily good at, it may be a good idea to not play as that kit. However, if you don't have the option, you kind of got to just go for it. Um, another way to, pl uh, way to play with this kit is if you have a teammate with you, you can have them attack people that don't necessarily have uh, the kits that you want to play as. So let's say you kill the kangaroo and you really like the kangaroo kit. So you wanted to stay as that kit for the rest of the game. What you could do is just have your friend uh, get like the final shot on all the rest of the people that you kill. Um, so that's, that's one way you can go about it. Uh, another cool thing about this kit that's not very apparent on uh, most other kits is it really doesn't have a counter. So unlike lots of the other kits in the game, you cannot really counter this kit too well. So uh, the moment that you try and counter the kit, oh, I just died. 
my goodness. The moment that you try and counter the kit, there's not really a way to because you don't necessarily know what kit that person is because the moment, let's say you uh, you fought a team of two and you killed somebody who's a boxer, you automatically have the abilities of a boxer and you can use those to your advantage. So uh, you really got to just kind of strategize. If you're going to plan on fighting one of these people, make sure that you kind of figure out what kit they are. Uh, one, cool, one thing to note is when you look at somebody... Uh, the pop-up at the top of the screen that tells you what kit they are will be whatever ability they have currently. It will not say that they're a copycat, so you just kind of... If you see that they're an Endermage and they kill somebody, just be aware that they could be something different. So it's, it's something you kind of got to keep track of or just be aware of whenever you're killing people in the Hunger Games. So, I really like this kit. I hope you guys do too. Uh, I enjoy playing as it very much, and... Um, it adds a whole new game style to uh, the way that you play, and I think it's really, really fun. It's not necessarily overpowered, but it's fun. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and um, thank you for watching my kit review. Make sure to leave a comment down below, and I will give a random commenter the uh, copycat kit next week when it comes out to everyone else. And um, if you're watching it during that time, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the videos, and I shall see you guys next time.